All right, man. So today we got a video about how to activate the fadeaway, how to activate the side shot, and how to activate the step back shoot. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with just talking about the fact that your shoot button also has a joystick. For the people that did not know, your shoot button definitely has a joystick attached to it. So if you look at my shoot button uh, before I shoot the ball, <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at my shoot button right now while I pick this up and just take a real good look at it. You're gonna see that it definitely has an analog attached to it. So you use this analog on your shoot button to activate your fadeaway your side step and you well not your side step but your drift shot and you also use it to activate your step back shot so let's go ahead and take a look at it here if you want to activate your fadeaway ability the first thing you want to do is just make sure that you understand that you have to move your shoot button analog in the opposite direction of the rim you cannot stand in this spot and then move your analog downward because you're going to just jump into a drift shot if you want to do a fadeaway you want to make sure it's in the opposite direction of the rim so since i'm standing in the corner over here the opposite direction of the rim will also be a corner of the shoot button so let's go ahead and do that real quick as you can see we dropped the fade away and it helps out a whole bunch if you actually understand how and when to use this ability because you trying your best to lose your defender they step off you and sag off a little bit at that point you can jump into a fade away and nine times out of ten they will not be able to stop you so all right let's go and talk about the drift shot next so to activate the drift shot it's the same concept as the fade away except instead of dragging your analog backwards you're going to drag it to the side so if you want to drift to the left uh, move your shoot analog to the left if you want to drift to the right drag your shoot analog to the right now it is important to note that you can also activate the shot fake and pass ability off of both of those abilities as well as the step back shot you can activate the shot uh, the shot pass off of all of them so make sure y'all keep that in mind it is a very useful tool when the defenders help on defense and you can pass to the open man a whole lot faster so yeah let's go and talk about the step back shot so with the step back shot it's pretty much the same concept except you have to use both of your analogs so it's the same thing as the fadeaway except you're going to be moving your movement analog as well as your shoot analog in the same direction make sure you keep that in mind they both have to be in the same direction so if i'm moving my shoot analog to the left well if i move my shoot analog to the back and i'm moving my movement analog to the left you're just gonna do this whoa wait a minute hold on <laughs> i have my analog to the left man so yeah weird stuff going on right now it's not doing anything that i really wanted to demonstrate so i'm assuming maybe you can just have your analog in any direction and then drag your analog back Oh, snap. Hold on, man. I might have just learned something here. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me just look at this one last time. So if we move my analog to the right, then I'm moving my shoot analog to the left. Okay, so I don't think the left analog even matters with this ability. So we, we both just learned something today. I thought you had to move your analogs both in the same direction, but apparently as long as you drag your shoot analog to the back, whatever direction your left analog is in, is going to be the direction that you do your sidestep shot. So just one last time for the sake of actually knowing and not just telling y'all some nonsense. Let's go ahead and look at this one last time. So analog to the left. We move it backwards and yes he definitely still did it in the same direction so both of your analogs don't have to be in the same direction but whichever direction your left analog is in uh that's a, that's the direction you're actually going to do that shot so if you want to actually step backwards with it you want to make sure you're holding both analogs backwards but if you want to step to the side you don't actually have to do both analogs now, i'm not sure how much it helps in terms of actually getting in the direction that you want to be so yeah so make sure y'all keep in mind you want to do your fade away drag your shoot button analog backwards you will do that fade away and also make sure you keep in mind you want to do a drift shot make sure your analog your shooting analog is pointed either left or right depending on your positioning from the rim so since i'm in the corner here left or right would be up or down so we move up we're gonna do our drift shot and if you're in the center here left or right would obviously be left or right and when you're in the corners it can get kind of tricky but just make sure that you're moving your analog according to your positioning from the rim and last but not least for the step back shot i'm assuming both analogs don't have to be in the same direction but i don't completely know i'm not gonna feed y'all some nonsense because when i do both of my analogs to the side he actually stepped to the side but when i got my left analog to the right and i do a step back he's just going backwards so maybe you do have to do both in the same direction but once again not completely sure and you also want to make sure you're remembering that you can activate the pump with well, a shot fake and pass off of this so let's go ahead and look at it just to give you all a demonstration so we got our Giannis over there he's always ready to get the ball man let's go ahead and jump into a drift shot and we can pass it go ahead and hit me Giannis. do our fade away and you can pass it 
And just for the last demonstration, we do our step back shot, and you can definitely pass that as well. Use that if you snap your defender's ankles in half and they try to help on defense, and make sure you're passing it to the open man. So, all right, man, we're going to wrap this video up. Y'all want to see more of this? Go ahead and drop a like, sub to the channel, and I'll catch y'all on the next one, man.